Hello everyone, this is Ben Be from Aramola TV, Korean j and the country Korea. First of all, you may be interested in where the Koreans are from. They are assumed to be the descendants of the ancient people, mainly from Mongolia or Manchuria. Then, what is so unique about Koreans is ethnicity. Korea is one of the most ethnically homogeneous nations in the world. Almost everybody belongs to the same ethnic category with recent little diversing. Why is Korea divided into two? Well, Korea was invaded by Japan in 1910 under the pretext of the annexation of Korea and Japan. Since then, Japan occupied Korea until the end of World War II in 1945, and Korea fell victim to the Cold War. The Korean Peninsula was divided into two as the Americans came in the south and the Russians north, leaving 38th parallel. The Russians installed the communist regime hand-picking Kim Il-sung as a leader. Later, China joined Russia as the same communist nation. Why has the Korean Peninsula been important in history? Korea has been invaded around 1,000 times by neighboring countries, uh, mostly by China and Japan. That's because of its geopolitical location. In old days, Japan wanted to advance the continent. China and Russia wanted to see the ocean. Recently, the peninsula has played the role of a buffer zone between China and Japan, Japan and Russia, China and the United States. On June 25, 1950, North Korean troops armed with Soviet tanks attacked the defenseless South Korea to communize the whole peninsula. North Korean leader Kim Il-sung thought it was the best time to accomplish his dream of removing the 38th parallel. At the beginning of the war, Soviet supported Kim Il-sung with weapons and later China did with soldiers, while South Korea was not only armless but also had no supporters. Soon after, the whole Korean Peninsula was about to be totally taken by the North Korean army, leaving only Busan, the southernmost tip of the Korean Peninsula. Then the U.S. General MacArthur led the UN forces participated in the war about three months after the initiation of the war in September. The UN troops went up to the borderline between North Korea and China. Suddenly, numerous Chinese soldiers emerged, which has been called the human wave attack. Then China leader Mao's first son, they say, was killed around the border while fighting as a soldier. The participation of the Chinese troops turned around the direction of the war and the UN forces had to retreat. The war lasted about three years and the truce line was set up at around the same location as the previous 38th parallel in July 1953, returning the peninsula to the divided status. The Korean War, as huge as the world war in size, nearly 5 million people died, almost 40,000 Americans died in action, and more than 100,000 were wounded. The majority of historians agree that Stalin was to blame as he supported Kim Il-sung, then the leader of North Korea for the war. Many Koreans blame China as it disturbed the unification of the peninsula by participating in the war. The history of Korea is the history of wars, poverty, and the political conflicts. After the 36 years of Japanese rule in 1945, and the Korean War in 1950, South Koreans were devastated financially, physically, and spiritually by the absence of desire and energy to survive. Furthermore, it was severely corrupted politically. Ten years had passed after the Korean War. The country was still hopeless. On May 16, 1961, there appeared the hero Army General Park Jung-hee who wanted to rebuild the nation. His military coup was greatly successful with no blood shedding, no life loss, and carried out a successful revolution for 18 years. The Samsung, Hyundai, Kia, Deo, LG, and POSCO were all established by the late President Park jung hees ideas and support. Today, many believe that he is the father of South Korea modernization. In fact, without the man, today's South Korea could no longer exist. The majority of people are lamentful that many communist sympathizers in South Korea have constantly defamed the president and his heritage, accusing of dictatorship during his tenure. Thank you everyone. Bye for now.